Hey all, Brent here with an Otaku No Video review of a rather unusual book for this, Sayonara Mr. Fatty by Toshio Okada. Um, this is a diet book, kinda, or sort of a memoir. Why am I reviewing this? Because Toshio Okada, the, the author, is the Ota King. Yeah, the frickin' Ota King. If you've seen Otaku No Video, which is the anime that this thing is actually named off of, um, He's the, the overweight guy, that's, that's Toshio Okada. Um, and yeah, he was overweight. He weighed 260 pounds. That's a lot. Um, so he wrote this book about how, well, what he thought about that. And the reason I'm talking about this is because this book is actually quite, quite interesting. Uh, well beyond just the whole diet thing, which I wouldn't just review a diet book. Anyway, um, so Okada-san had this issue. He knew he, w he weighed more than the, the, the average person, but he said he's a geek. I mean, geeks are normally overweight. Um, they're normally, you know, watching anime and reading manga and, and not exercising. He didn't like to exercise. Um, so he said, I, I was okay with that. But he knew that there were, you know, health concerns and health issues. It was kind of on his mind. So he decided to take this really intelligent approach. And that's what the book is about, is just sort of laying out the approach he took and recommending it to other people um, in sort of a, a generic way of saying, here's, you know, here's what I did, but here's sort of generically how to do this. What he did really is he just started writing down, well, in a Word document, what he ate every day. Didn't change anything that he ate. He didn't try to diet. He just wrote down, okay, I bag of potato chips, you know, fried pork dumplings, you know, french fries, whatever. Um, every day a new page in this Word document and he just kept recording, recording, and recording. And he said he spent about five months doing this um, before he decided to sort of grow it at all. Again, he didn't change uh, his diet at all, but he started losing weight. Two pounds a week. Two pounds a week. Now granted, when you're 260 pounds, that can happen. Uh, it's not like losing two pounds a week when you weigh 140. But still, wow, he was losing weight. And he realized because he was subconsciously thinking, well, pick up, a, pick up a bag of chips. I'm going to have to write this down. Eh, maybe I'll do it later. Um, so then he started thinking, okay, well, can I get a little more scientific, a little more specific about this? So he started looking at calories. And just he'd flip over the package and look at the number of calories and write that down. And he started losing more weight. And he realized that just by being aware of the food he was eating, he was making smarter decisions about the food he was eating. Um, this continued for a while. Again, he was eating the same stuff. He was just finding himself subconsciously eating somewhat less. Uh, then he went and looked at the sort of standard scientific measurements of, sort of food science measurements of how many calories you should consume per day given your height and so forth and age. And he added a little bit to that because he didn't want to go, you know, to precisely that number. But he used that as, as the basis, and he started just comparing his daily value to that value. Again, and here's, here's the important thing. No guilt here. No, you should be eating less. No, um, boy, that's not good for you. Heck, no, you should exercise more. In fact, he recommends don't exercise. Dieting or, or changing your, your eating habits are hard enough. You know, much less trying to start an exercise regimen, too, um, unless you really want to. So then he started um, just comparing that, and he found himself doing this little game in his head. You know, what could I do to actually eat only X calories today, on average? Um, and he said, sometimes you, know, you eat a little more some days, so you have to eat a little you know, less later. That's fine. But the point is he found a smart way of doing it. And what's remarkable about this is, is really three things to me. One is it's a remarkably kind way of approaching dieting. He just outright says, you know, dieting's hard, especially for those who are trying. It's changing a habit. It's changing something you do every day. We all have to eat. Um, and he said, and, and we eat for reasons. You know, we overeat for reasons. Nothing to be ashamed of there, necessarily. That's just what you do. So this is simply a, a brain-oriented way of changing your behavior. 
and in a way that doesn't introduce those feelings of guilt, which can push you off the wagon. It's also a very smart way of doing it. Um, it's a way of engaging your brain and making your brain work in the way that your brain is meant to work. You know, you don't have to do lots of, of calculations. You don't have to keep track of all sorts of stuff. Very simple stuff, but it allows your brain to treat it kind of like a video game. You know, gotta collect them all, but only so many. I don't know. But it's very smart. Um, it's also an approach that's not just about dieting. And that's the main reason I'm doing this review. Um, this approach can be done, you know, if you are addicted to something. Um, if there's anything in your life that you do that, that you're kind of not happy about, this is a way of dealing with that. Um, again, no promises as to any, how that's going to work, but the more aware you are of your behavior, the more aware you are of your behavior. And the more likely you are that you're going to make some sort of changes in your life. Um, and again, I'm not, I'm not trying to get all, you know, oh, you have to change. I'm just saying this is really, really interesting. It's really effective. Um, I started posting about this on Twitter and a friend of mine replied back and said she'd lost a bunch of weight because of that, um, you know, following that method. This is a really good thing. It's a really interesting thing. It's a really helpful thing. Um, this book, Sayonara, Mr. Fatty by Toshio Okada, 10 bucks on Amazon.com. It's well written. Now it's Japanese style writing, so it's a little um, plain, I guess. But easy to read. Short book. Um, I read it in like an hour, maybe. And definitely worth thinking about. Definitely worth thinking about. Uh, if you do uh, read it, there are no uh, reviews on Amazon other than my own. So you can go on onto Amazon and, and be one of the very few folks to review this book. Very cool, very interesting. And if you do check it out, please let me know. I'll be curious to see what you think. That's my review. Thank you all. Take care.